I mean, I see all these vegans out here, and all these people preaching veganism. But yet, when it comes to the ecosystem, when it comes to pigeons or birds or, or scorpions or cockroaches or even crickets and moths, they have no problem killing those. They just don't want, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? They're very selective on, on what you're allowed to kill. They say you can kill all the plants in the world, and they, but, but if you eat meat, anything you eat and kill, oh, you're terrible. But, oh, if it's a pest, if I deem it's a pest, like, like uh, there's this woman we watch, Roxanne Lavin. She's a supposed nutritionist that promotes eating pizza and, and cake to her students. And she's thin because she goes off and runs 12 miles a day. <laughs> or vomits. One of the two. But there's no way you could eat cakes and ice cream and, and, and tell your students, oh yeah, you'll lose weight on that. And that's exactly what she's telling them. And she's a certified nutritionist here that's a vegan. That's why she's, she's, that's why she's telling them. Because on a vegan diet, it's super high sugar. So she's justifying saying, oh, you have to, because she loves animals so much. But I'm just talking biological. So, what Roxanne Lavin is teaching people is that eating cake and sugar and vegan food is fine. As long as it's vegan. It don't matter how much sugar it has. It don't matter how many carbs. She literally told, wrote in her post to her students on Instagram, carbs do not make you fat. That is a myth. This is what she said. And she also said you can eat ice cream and lose weight. As long as it's vegan. Just don't eat any of the dairy. You know, it is a really weird thing. So, so of course, we find that very challenging because, well, Jedi Joy is a nutrition expert. I mean, come on, for those you know, following, you know by listening to her, I lost 150 pounds and I don't even go to the gym. And I'm not depressed anymore. So I know Joy knows what she's talking about. And we've both done the vegan thing, even together. We did the vegan thing for us like six months here for some reason. Anyway, so I thought it was cool to be a vegan in Vegas. But guess what? I got up to over 325 pounds. Right, because, well, it's just too much sugar. The only way to stay fit on that diet is if you run triathlons or Ironmans every day. Well, I don't know about you guys, but I don't have time for that. So that's kind of how we kind of got on. That's where we found Roxanne. And anyways, kind of fast forward, we have a follower and, and she is just adamant that, that, that a high sugar diet is good for you. And meanwhile, we're watching her photos of the last two years, three years actually, 2017, right? Jenny Joy and I have lost weight on, on our diet and we don't even go to the gym. We don't even, we're just eating our own, you know, whereas Roxanne Lavin and TJ Lavin have gained weight. They've gotten bigger. So, I mean, that's your evidence right there. So for those of you who say, well, who are you to say what a diet is? You know, Roxanne's certified nutritionist. What are you? Yeah, exactly. What, who am I? Three years ago, I weighed 300 and something pounds because I ate a vegan diet, a high sugar diet. After a couple years of not doing that, I lost 150 pounds. So what does that make me? A certif that, that's not a certified nutritionist. So, but who are you gonna listen to? Meanwhile, the certified nutritionist is telling you, cake, pizza, and ice cream are fine on a, if you're trying to lose weight. You just have to burn it off. Not only, sugar doesn't just make you fat, it actually is really bad for you. It's so bad for you that when you eat it, your body releases something called insulin. Insulin is something that is like DEFCON, I forget what it is. DEFCON 5, or is it DEFCON, which is the most serious one? It's like DEFCON 5, or DEFCON 1, whatever is the serious one, when insulin, or when sugar hits the system. Look what it does to your teeth. Right, as soon as you get it on there, you brush it off. Well, you can't scrub the sugar out off your tissues or off of your organs. So, what the brain does, instead of telling you to brush your teeth, what it says is, hey, I'll take care of it. I've got this, this emergency thing, it's called insulin. 
what it does is it's going to take the sugar out of your bloodstream immediately. It's going to be very uncomfortable. You're going to be very tired afterwards. And it's very, very harsh on the system. And it, the insulin, if you do too much of it, well, in high doses, it makes you unconscious. It could even kill you. So you don't want much of it in your system. It also slows your metabolism, makes you tired, and makes you gain weight. But that's okay because we gotta get the sugar out of your system, just like you have to get the sugar off your teeth so it doesn't rot your organs, so to speak, or cause cancer, I guess is what happens. Now, that guy that died, uh, who's that guy? That, uh, the, the Green Panther. Check him out. I think he was bulimic. And I think he was eating way too much sugar. I mean, first of all, a visible sign that something's unhealthy is that it makes you fat. It's just so everybody, hey, don't do what that person, it's not attractive. No one's attracted to it. Primal, at a primal level, for a number of reasons, it's unhealthy, the number one. In fact, in this country, the number one cause of death is heart disease. So anyway, I'm gonna go on and on and on about this stuff. <sighs> I just love watching these guys eat their breakfast. Oh, right. So back to Steve Sisolak. So 2017, Kathy and Steve, boy, you know, boyfriend, girlfriend, passed a law to make it illegal to feed pigeons and legal to poison them. You can kill them now. Well, you know, we kind of tried to get some local support from some of the vegans in town, and guess what? TJ Lavin and Roxanne Lavin did, didn't even heart the thing. They, they were so uninterested. The one thing that happened was one time someone was coming over to shoot a pigeon with a gun, right? Because they made it legal in 2017 to kill them <laughs> and, 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 and illegal to feed them. <laughs> so we tweeted that one and TJ did respond. He said, they're gonna shoot the little fellow with a gun? I said, yeah, man, unless we do something. And that's the last I ever heard from TJ. And he went back onto his sugar diet. He eats an all sugar diet, and I feel bad. I keep telling them, stop doing it. It's addictive. It'll make you crazy. It'll cause cancer. And you're getting fat, dude. And when I'm saying this is because I know you don't like it. And I see you getting depressed. Okay, I gotta go now. This has been a great talk, guys. Hey, September 1st, the first day of the month, 2020. Planet Earth, Las Vegas, Nevada. The current time is 0600 hours and 30 minutes right now. Still a day yo, and it's been like that since the day yo. On more time than a rolly or Senko. Step on deck, your neck, or do what I say so. Get up or get out, get down. Get down.